Templar here, and today I'll be talking about one of my newest shields, but maybe I should actually get more in help with this. Now, let me try something. Kite shields suck! Huh. I thought Shad from Shadiversity would have gotten in here by now. Huh. Oh well. Anyways, what I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about is this. The Evil Kite Shield, or Infantry Class anyways. The reason this is an infantry class kite shield is actually because the difference between an infantry and a cavalry kite shield is the design work of the forearm, as you can see. Because if you guys don't realize, uh, my channel mostly covers foot soldiers uh, when it comes to armors and armor. Uh, as you guys can, can tell, this strap here, let me move this up here, is, well, moved from one end to the other. Well, a cavalry version technically had four. In other words, it would go this way or this way. So yeah, this one on the hand is more meant for infantry because the infantry carried it. And technically, they kind of walked with it because, as you can see, this strap here is not. It's also it's meant for two things. One to actually hold on to, such as like say if you're in a skirmish battle and you gotta make sure your shield doesn't be taken away from you, and also. As the following badass part, I can walk around with it by just having it laying down on my shoulder. Meaning, if I'm in a march in file formation, like so, what I would just do is I march in file. And doing so, this was actually a really impressive idea, in fact, because I can easily walk around it with this. And doing so, if I was a foot soldier, I would carry normally carry a massive spear in order to use as a pike. In other words, I would walk around like so, as I'm trying not to hit the ceiling fan. Uh, uh, but yeah, this would technically keep, this would actually really work. In fact, the kite shield would just hang, and I would just march around. In fact, it doesn't matter this, you're technically marching like this for hours, and I can actually probably feel no fatigue whatsoever in the process. Now, I can already say one thing, Shed is probably going to be pissed at me for saying Kite Shield suck, but in truth, Shed, I was just trying to see if you would get my reaction. Get a reaction out of any of that, but still. I love these shields as well. In fact, they were perfect for the medieval foot soldier because you can easily protect the human body. Now, as well, how about I actually get into the armor, for example? or medieval gambeson and such of my army wear that I showed you guys last time. And uh, let, let me show you what the hell they would, how they would have done a formation combat. Shall we? Alright guys, as you guys can tell, I am fully outfitted with the gear, as I said. Now, as you guys can tell, the kite shield does work. Now, since this is an infantry style kite shield, it perfectly works for me because I have a spear. But still, this was uh, elevation. As you guys can tell, if it was a Norman knight, he would have, or crusader or whatever, this, the lance would have been a little longer, but you get the point. But this is a foot soldier. So that means I can actually do the shield formation. Doing so, my if I was in the first rank, what I would do is kneel down like so. As you guys can tell, I would actually have the kneel down right behind the shield, and in doing so, stick out the spear. While the guy over me, right behind me, would actually put his shield over mine. Now I know in some video games it shows the shield upside down, but that doesn't work. As we can tell. But yes, the shield, the second guy would put the shield over me, and the third guy behind him would in turn have, don't, wouldn't have his spear drawn, but what he would do, is sometimes they would place the shield over the other kite shield. And doing so, it does work. Now though, this, as I said, is of a Crusader kite shield, so you guys can see why. <laughs> because I can easily protect, protect myself around the body, and in doing so, I pretty much can feel a little bit more safer, since technically this does reach down to the foot. But as well, drawing the sword, like so, and as well fight, like so, <laughs> makes it easier. And plus, if a downward cut was happen, what I would do is lift the shield, like so, while thrusting into his foot. 
Now though, this is actually the perfect thing about the kite shield. At least I can actually keep my sword behind my shield. That way the guy doesn't know where I'm going to strike. Am I going to strike in the foot? Am I going to strike in his side? Or am I going to strike above? That's actually the cool part about this kite shield that I love. But yeah, the kite shield works for a foot soldier of the medieval age. So pretty much you can see why it was favored for the Norman knights, and including pretty much a lot of crusaders. Since many times the foot soldiers kept using this type of shield up until sometime after the beginning of the Renaissance, if you think about it. So though it is really impressive, and as well it goes well with this armor. Anyways, let me get out of this armor and talk more about it, because it's a little hot in this. Well, wasn't that actually fun? Am I right? As you guys can tell, the Kite Shield was actually one of the most famous shields in history. Now, these did actually, as I stated, uh, span from the, well, re type of, technically they state from the Renaissance to pretty much all the way back to the Battle of Hastings, but some say even further back and even some say even further on ahead, depending on which area of region you lived in. These shields were perfect for a foot soldier because they worked. And as well, as I stated, you could even form a testudo, testudo formation, as I showed you in, for a little while ago. Uh, but as well, what would actually be on the side? Well, as I, I forgot to mention, what they would do is protect one end, like so, and pretty much it would just cover up the shield. And doing so, the shield technically protected the whole body. Now as well, if they were on the, uh, ex the term exposed flank, such as my right side, what would happen is they would actually have the shield rotated to the other end. Like say if they were besieging a castle and that way archery didn't, archer fire didn't come down on them. Now sometimes though, what the kite shield would actually be used as, as in a form of a flank. In other words, they would have it at an angle to stop the arrows. Or have them bounce off anyways. Now as well, these shields were perfect on the battlefield. And as well, perfect for besieging a castle, as I stated. More, well, not for good for climbing a ladder, though, because if you were to climb a ladder with this thing, I can tell you already that it would not work out so well, because just imagine it, you're climbing, say, a massive ladder. Like so, here's the thing, I gotta climb, and in doing so, this thing is like bouncing off, bouncing off, and here's the thing, here's gonna, here's gonna come an uh, uh, incoming arrow, I gotta like, get underneath the shield, here's the problem, I can't, because this thing was heavy enough to cause the problem. So in doing so, these shields were not meant for a uh, good besieging a castle, but if they were used on a battering ram, this would have been used on the, to cover it. Or as well, these shields would have also been seen uh, storming a castle if it was the gate was destroyed or in, or broken down, or including a siege tower managed to get in. Now guys, I will put a link down below for you guys for this type of shield, just in case you guys want to buy one like these. I love these shields very much, especially since if you guys were into foot soldier combat, or if you guys want to be reenactors. Uh, for and you only place type of amount of money you can afford it would be something that's more of a foot soldier class. Well, then the shield is perfect for you. Just make sure it's in the correct area of history, because there are a lot of people that say this shield wasn't there or that shield wasn't there. Well, technically this is a crusader shield, and technically though, if I remember correctly, sometimes these shields were seen at the Battle of Nor uh, Battle of Hastings, in fact. But we're only meant for foot soldiers. So yeah, this is a foot soldier kite shield, not a cavalry or knight shield. You get the point. But anyways, guys, hope you like this. Uh, click that button for more for the notifications. Like these videos and as well subscribe for more. And besides, you might see some more good ass stuff on this site. And as well, guys, if you guys want me to cover any type of form of history, let me know in the comments below. And anyways, guys. Have a good day.